Hey guys, this is Ankit and I welcome to all of you on our channel QW's Cap. In this video, I am going to discuss about Accenture hiring process and also I will discuss about the exam pattern. Also, we will discuss about the coding question which is asked in the recent Accenture drive and if Accenture has came in your placement drives then this is video for you. You can watch this video in 1.25x speed so that you can save your time. Okay, so now let's move forward. So we will talk about job role and salary. So job role they are going to give you associate software engineer. For that they are going to give you salary 4.5 LPA. For advanced associate software engineer they are going to give you the 6.5 LPA salary. Okay, so you have to perform well in your online assessment, coding assessment and interview to get the 6.5 lpa package okay so let's move forward and talk about the selection process so you will be having the four rounds round one will be the online assessment round two will be the coding assessment and round three will be the communication test and round four will be the interview okay so each and every round i will discuss in detail in this further slides okay so round three is not elimination round okay so round three is communication assessment that is not going to be a elimination round okay so now let's move forward and talk about the round one online assessment so in online assessment you will be having the two section cognitive ability and technical assessment in cognitive ability you will be having the three sections english ability critical reasoning and abstract reasoning okay and number of questions will be for english ability 17 questions will be there for critical reasoning there will be 18 questions for abstract reasoning there will be the 15 questions and total 50 questions will be there for the cognitive ability okay and for technical assessment there will be the three sections like common application and ms office questions pseudo code and networking and security and cloud uh, related questions okay so you can see for ms office related questions 12 questions will be there for pseudo code 18 questions will be there for networking security and all it will be 10 questions will be there so total 40 questions will be there and you will get 90 minutes for this 90 questions so total 90 questions are there and you will get 90 minutes for that and each question will be one marks question so total marks should will be 90 marks okay so you have to prepare which is are the easiest topics and scoring topics so that you have to focus on that so that you can crack your online assessment okay i will tell you what are the things you have to study for your online assessment okay and after the completion of your online assessment you will get immediately the result for the your online assessment if you pass then you will be getting the round two coding assessment immediately after your online assessment if you are not able to shortlist in round one online assessment then you won't get coding assessment for round two okay so let's talk about in detail about cognitive ability so in cognitive ability there will be the english ability critical reasoning and abstract reasoning and 50 questions will be there so for english ability you have to prepare these are the topics and for critical reasoning these are the topics you have to prepare for abstract reasoning you have to prepare these are the topics okay so these are the important topics which is essential is asking from the last previous years okay so you have to focus on these topics if you want a video on these topics questions just let me know in the comment box i will try to make the video on the previous year questions on the cognitive ability okay so now let's move forward with technical assessment so technical assessment you know that 40 questions will be there and for ms office that this is the syllabus or this is the topics they ask from the ms office so pseudo code they will be asking these are the topics and for networking security and cloud they will be asking these are the topics okay so you have to prepare all those topics because it's really important to crack the online assessment for the next further rounds okay and for pseudo code i am going to bring a video on the pseudo code of the previous year courses for the essential or recent drives which is conducted in various colleges for the pseudo code okay so coming soon i am going to bring the pseudo code video okay so stay tuned and subscribe this channel for that okay so now let's move forward round two if we talk about round two coding assessment will be there so as i said you the round one result they will be announcing immediately after the five minute when you will submit the round one okay after immediately five minute you will get result whether you shortlist for coding assessment or not if you shortlist then immediately you have to attend the coding assessment as well at that time at that moment only okay 
so in that you will get the two questions two coding questions you will get okay in that one questions will be the easy questions will be there and one will be the moderate to tough type of questions will be there and you will get 45 minutes for two questions okay so try to make like easy question you are trying to make in 15 minutes and that moderate to tough questions you try to give 30 minutes that will be convenient for you and you can able to make uh, two coding questions successfully test case pass okay try to make that one coding questions you are making fully correct and plus another coding question at least try to make half test cases pass like if 10 tests 10 cases are there then you at least try for five test cases should be passed okay and for first coding questions try that 10 cases are should be passed okay then are more chances that you will be shortlist for the next round okay so these are the thing about coding assessment and you can use any of this language which is convenient for you either c c plus plus python java or dot net okay so let's move forward so these are the coding questions they have asked in the recent previous drives okay and these are the some of the most asked questions coding questions in the essential drive okay you just go through these questions and try to uh, practice and try to implement in your online compiler or your offline id okay and i am going to try to make the video on the coding questions coming soon it is also a coming soon video okay so stay tuned on this channel and please subscribe this channel so that you will get notified whenever i am uploading the video related to coding questions and pseudo course okay now let's move forward with communication assessment test so round three will be the communication assessment test in that they will be giving you mostly four sections in that four sections first round first section will be the reading sections in that what they will be giving you they will show you some sentences or passes that you are going to display on your screen and you have to read it loudly and record your voice okay so just they want to know your reading skills how is it is good or bad so that's the thing they want to check in the section one section two was the repeating sentence okay so in that what will happen you will be giving audio clips you have to clearly listen first that audio clip okay after that what will happen you have to repeat it loudly whatever was there in that audio clip okay so probably a sentence they will be giving okay so that sentence you have to repeat by recording your voice okay that was the section two repeating sentence coming to section 3 jumble sex sentence okay so in that you will be given a jumble sentence which are not in correct format example like in the audio clip they will be telling like going to india i am okay then how you have to record your voice you have to make it correct and you have to record your voice like uh, i am going to india that's the correct uh, sentence for that okay section 4 will be the storytelling okay in that storytelling they will be giving you some topic suppose they have given some topic like uh, monetization okay so in monetization you have to speak like at least 30 second what was the menu monetization when it happened and all so just they want to check your uh, speaking skills and your fluency for in english so that's what uh, they want to check in round three communication test and communication assessment is not an elimination round so if you not do good also it's okay it's fine okay so but you have to perform well if you want to take 6.5 lpa job uh, lpa job role in the essential then you have to perform well for communication assessment also they will be looking at your 6.5 lpa you should be very good in communication assessment also okay so don't forget if you want if you are aiming for 6.5 lpa then you should perform very well in communication assessment as well okay now let's move forward with round four technical and hr interview will be there so in next videos i am going to bring the technical and hr interview questions which is dedicated for accenture and ask in the recent previous year drives okay and that will be really helpful and i will bring in this topic wise like i will be bringing oops cons oops questions okay java questions okay python questions ml questions so like this topic wise i will bring you interview questions okay so you can prepare for your essence drive very smoothly okay so our work is to make your placement journey very smooth and very jolly way so please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon button so that whatever video we are going to upload you get notification for that so thank you so much for watching this video please share with your friends so they also can get uh, idea about the exam pattern and syllabus for the essential and please like and comment on this video that what you want from the essential side so we will be bringing in the next video so thank you so much for watching this video once again thank you bye bye